Hey, hello, good morning, guys, and this is Connie with Gautam, and today we will be doing Computer Science 1 curriculum. Uh, so, yeah, so this is a game of chance lab we have done. So, let's see how this works. So, first of all, remember, this is in Java. So, if you're taking the class right now, you shouldn't know how this works, but I'll just quickly explain it. So, what this does, so basically, java.util. So basically from the from Java, you go to the utilities folder and then you get random and then you get scanner. So util is basically what we're gonna use a lot because well, it's just basically the general stuff we use and basically what we'll be learning in Java. So now let's create the class public class main and okay, then we do the public static void, which is just the pretty like simple. It just creates the main where we can actually start code. We it creates the void so we can actually start coding and the code can run. So yeah, so yeah, so this basically creates the static void and then string args. So now we can actually look to the code. So we create the new scanner. We call this scanner scanner, and it's the new scanner and system dot in system dot in is basically saying is signifying that well it's going to accept information. Then int correct guesses equals zero. So basically, th the point of this lab is that well we there will be a generated random coin flip, a random dice roll, and a random spinner. So what happens is the user tries to guess what color heads or tails or what number has been ro rolled so then that's what happens then we'll tell them whether they got everything right or not so now we do the incorrect guesses equals zero so now we create the new random random rand dot new random so we create this instance of random then this is the hard this is the part where we define dice roll coin flip and color so now let's see how this works so one so dice roll is basically telling us that we want to create the next int from six to one so six minus one so next then we do zero to five so that means it generates zero one two three four five and remember since it's a dice roll of course we're gonna have to add one so then we add the one here which then creates which then creates it from one two three four five six then now we do the int coin flip rand dot next int so we do two minus one then you add one and then you add another one so the reason you add the one at the end is because well we get we want to go from zero one which is what happened so now we go from zero to one now we add one to that at the end so we can go from one to two. Then same thing here, we do zero, one, two, three. We add one to make it look more clean like this. So now then the coin guess is then the scanner.nextint. So if the coin guess equals the coin flip, and remember, this is the smart part. We are using numbers to indicate it so that we don't need to do string conversion. So if the coin guess, for example, if you inputs one is equal to the coin flip, which is one for heads, two for tails, then you increment correct guess guesses. Then you print out, print ln, print new line. What number will the dice will be? One, two, six. If the int dice guess, then you take the next integer in the scanner. And then if the dice guess equals to dice roll, then you correct in, then you increment correct guesses. Same for this. And now we come to the switch statement. So what is a switch statement? So a switch statement is basically like an if else if, but it's really simple. So what we do is we do switches. So in the case that correct guesses is zero, and this usually works for like increments, right? So what the index value is. So switch case, if the, if the correct guesses, if the case one is zero, then we say hard luck, you got zero out of three, right? Then you break out of the switch statement or it's case one, which is basically system dot out print dot ln getting there you got one out of three right then you break case two which is system dot out dot print ln so close you got two out of three right then you break and then case three system dot print ln you got it you got three out of three break so basically what this does is it switches between well correct guesses it takes the value correct guesses and checks if if correct guesses is zero you run this and then you break out of it you check for one two and three this is way better than just doing if correct guesses equal equals zero break and then like else if it's just very more simple and more abstract so now let's run our app okay heads or tails i'll go tails 
What number did the dice roll for? Red, green, or yellow? Let's go yellow. Okay, we got one out of three right. So now, let's, yeah. So we can see that this does in fact work, but let's try and get all of them right. So, um, two, um, four, and then two. Okay, so I got one out of three right again. So, well guys, this is basically just try your chance. This is the, well, the game of chance lab in CS1. Hope you guys found this educational, understood what switch statements are. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching.